I'm Corey Kellum with Phoenix LiDAR Systems, and today I'm going to show you how to choose the right tool for the right job when it comes to DJI M300 mountable LiDAR solutions. Today we'll be highlighting the Phoenix Recon XT and the Mini Ranger 3. Both systems are survey grade high performance solutions in a form factor small enough to mount to a DJI M300 platform and can both be adapted for mobile mapping applications. However, the intrinsic differences in their technologies should be explored to understand the different use cases for a higher powered single laser system and a lower powered multi-laser system. Let's go check out how real Phoenix LiDAR users are using these tools for real world use cases. Uh, we're here today to essentially uh, do a LiDAR survey of a mixed site, a mixed site in that we have a lot of hard surface targets, roads, uh, cul-de-sacs, and then we also have some very heavy vegetated areas. Good morning, I'm Scott McGowan with Kestrel. So today uh, I also have Phoenix along. Uh, Phoenix has been a provider of my LiDAR for over six years. Uh, we'll be testing uh, one of their new units, which is the Mini 3 on some of these hard surface targets. Uh, the XT I've used on uh, quite a few projects over the last six months. So I know in the heavily uh, vegetated areas, we're gonna knock that out. But on these hard surface roads, we may need to do some line drawing and a little bit more densely uh, collected data. Uh, we're hoping the Mini 3 uh, Ranger will, will fit the bill. Uh, perfect day for flying, about six knots out of the east, 10 miles of visibility, no obstacles in our uh, initial safety evaluation, so I think we're good to go. The Mini Ranger 3 Lite is an upgrade to the renowned Mini Ranger 1 Lite, boasting a 3x increase in point density. The best choice for teams looking for the highest precision solution, offering the adaptability required to address virtually any mapping application. Flexibility in mounting options is a key benefit of this Phoenix LiDAR system, enabling users to fly it on UAVs with the added value of leveraging its 360 degree field of view for mobile mapping applications. Select from various upgradable sensors, including the photogrammetry, hyperspectral, and thermal imaging packages. With the photogrammetry package, DJI M300 operators can simultaneously acquire survey grade LiDAR data and high resolution 61 megapixel imagery at up to 100 meters above the ground. The Mini Ranger 3 Lite boasts up to five returns per laser pulse and offers extended UAV flight times for various mapping applications, including utility infrastructure, land erosion, glacier and snowfield mapping, and more. The system also offers the added value of real-time data visualization for peace of mind on high stakes projects. The Mini Ranger 3 is the most affordable system capable of meeting USGS Quality Level 0 specifications. It is also the only system that can meet this spec while being small enough to mount to the M300 for simple operation and ease of transportation. Taking a look at a subset of the process data, the Mini Ranger 3 was able to achieve Kestrel's project objective of a high precision and high accuracy as built. We see the Mini Ranger met and exceeded the USGS Quality Level 0 specifications. This data exceeded the first key specification requirement of less than or equal to 3 cm intra-swath precision as the data was consistently under 2 cm RMS on hard surfaces. The data also exceeded the second key specification of achieving a minimum of 3 returns. We actually see 4th returns present in this data set. Let's move on to see how the Recon XT performs on the second site. So as we said earlier, when we were comparing the two systems and we were, you're asking which one would you, would you choose, you know, this, this, is, this is heavy foliage. This is undergrowth. This is a lot of trees. Uh, these were planted really tightly by whoever uh, was lumbering out here originally. You've got a lot of ground cover. This is the realm of the XT32. I've been using this for six months. Uh, it just shines on this stuff. It's gonna do a really great job of penetrating. So that's gonna be the sensor of choice today. All right. Let's so let's do it. Let's do it. The Recon XT is the ultimate value system for the renowned DJI M300. This entry level solution combines exceptional performance, ease of use, and efficient data collection in an ultra lightweight package designed to maximize UAV flight times and collect rich, high density data. The Recon XT is designed to grow and adapt with your business, purposely tailored to teams on a budget. Flexibility in mounting options is a key benefit of this Phoenix system, enabling users to fly it on UAVs with the added value of leveraging its 360 degree field of view for mobile mapping applications. Capitalize on the Recon XT's high precision and accuracy in a wide variety of mapping applications, including vegetation penetration, utility infrastructure, open pit mining, and more. 
The XT is integrated at an eight degree pitch to level the sensor out during UAV flights and evenly distribute the LiDAR's vertical swap along the ground. The 32 lasers create a 31 degree vertical field of view, increasing variability in laser incidence angles on targets. This results in a higher probability of laser returns finding voids in vegetation and reaching the ground. Taking a look at a subset of the process data, the second site was densely covered by thick vegetation where the Recon XT was able to achieve the mission objective by leveraging its high measurement rate and wide vertical field of view to penetrate the thick tree canopy. This level of penetration was critical for determining the existing conditions of the forest floor prior to land development. Let's check back in with Scott for a quick recap. News. I mean, I'd have to say, if I'm gonna do all that land development stuff that I do, I'm probably gonna go with the XT. If I'm gonna be out in this environment with hard surface targets and, uh, and, and large uh, construction sites and yep. as builds and stuff, probably gonna lean towards the, uh, towards the extra three returns and kind of the granularity that that one's gonna offer. But either one's gonna, gonna be great for your business and it'll get you where you wanna go. But, you know, if, if you are fortunate enough, which I'm not, to be more focused on one area, then, then you've got two of the great choices to go with. But uh, as I said, you know, we did uh, two great projects out here today. Uh, you know, they both did exactly what they were supposed to do in their own environments. And uh, man, I'd hate to have to make a choice over one of them, you know, but it's easy for me to say, hey, buy both. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Well, I appreciate you coming out here and putting our systems to the test or putting your systems to the test. and. Um, they put us to the test. It's like 110 degrees. Out yeah, there. absolutely. Which, it's a hot is, one today. Which is pretty much testament to the, this equipment that it can operate in this kind of environment because it's about as bad as it gets around here. All right. So just to recap, we used the uh, Recon XT. It was great for dense vegetation penetration um, with its, its wide field of view, vertical field of view and its high measurement rate. Um, we also uh, got some great data out of the Mini Ranger 3 on hard surfaces. Um, we have that really good uh, smooth surface repeatability, that high precision with this sensor. Um, we got those three returns. That was good for our uh, federal project. I, uh, I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and uh, make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thanks again.